So we all want to be able to influence our partners and we all want to be with someone that respects us enough to want to meet our needs. And sometimes we want to be with someone that will sort of change for us. This is completely normal. And um, I want to sort of address this question in today's video. Oftentimes I hear from women and they say to me, well, Farine, this guy doesn't value me. Like, how do I get him to change? So it's not, they're not saying this like verbatim. It's obviously there's a situation going on and a woman is dissatisfied with the attention that she's receiving for the man or the, um, yeah, like she's, she's not satisfied with the treatment that she's receiving and therefore she wants to like influence him to change. Now, there's a few things here. If the man that you are with is in his masculine energy and, um, you know, there's things that have happened to him in his past, right? So he's experienced certain situations with women. Um, and the reason this is important is when a man has not had really bad experiences with women, he's not going to be so fixed on his position um, in his next relationship, right? Like we all have trauma. We've all experienced things in our life, not just as a child, but also in relationships moving forward. And those relationships have impacted us and influenced us. And cause us to behave in certain ways in a relationship um, because we don't want to get hurt, right? We are all functioning from this place where we don't want to get hurt and we don't want to lose ourselves in a relationship for another person. And oftentimes with men, especially men that are later in their 30s to 40s and then, you know, even 50s and 60s, like, you know, they become very fixated on certain um in, in certain ways, right? That's why we always say like, as men get older, they become super stubborn and like, good luck, right? Uh, I know this even with my dad, like you can't change a man, right? Especially the, the older that they get, the more stubborn they become. Um, and sometimes they can just, um, for women, what happens is like, we will become resentful because we think that we can't influence them. And so in this video, I want to get into some of the like nitty gritty about how to get a man to change for you, or even to get a man to value you. So this is not going to apply for men that are more, let's say, in their feminine energy. And a man that is in his feminine energy is going to be more agreeable. So a man that is more agreeable is going to, um, you know, listen to the requests of a woman more easily and is sometimes going to be a people pleaser, right? So I'm not saying that a feminine energy person is a people pleaser because I am definitely not a people pleaser. Um, I, I have boundaries, I have standards, and I don't do things just to appease other people, right? Um, so in this situation, when I'm talking about a man that's in his feminine energy, I'm talking about a man that's in his unhealthy feminine energy. Um, because the unhealthy feminine energy is a woman that doesn't, a woman or a man, let's just say, that is predominantly functioning from low self esteem and doesn't have a backbone. So we always want to be as balanced as we can. This is the goal, right? The goal is to be as balanced as we can. And if you're a feminine energy woman, you want to be able to influence men with as much grace as possible and you know, without losing your emotions and losing yourself, right? And you also want to keep in mind that you want the adoration of a man, right? So here's like, this is where things get kind of sticky, right? Oftentimes, if a man is really in love with us, we can get a man to do whatever we want, right? We can have a tantrum, we can flip out, we can have demands and expectations. And, you know, we can manipulate a man to give us what we want. Like it's, especially if a man is really in love with us. The thing is, is if you're truly a feminine energy woman and a feminine energy person, and you're coming from a good, authentic place, you're not going to want to um, manipulate someone to do things for you. You're just, you won't feel good because you'll recognize that even if you're getting the thing that you want, you know, deep down internally, you're getting it because you sort of manipulated someone to give that to you, right? And ultimately, that's not going to lead to a fulfilling relationship because when a man is sort of like doing something outside of what he feels is right for him and he's doing it to appease a woman so there's no conflict, he's not going to feel good either because his needs are also not getting met. He's kind of just saying whatever he has to say to not rock the boat. And 
in, in that case, even if you get what you want, you're not really getting what you want because if you are a feminine energy person, you're gonna want you're gonna want him to want to do things without him having to be influenced or manipulated because ultimately the feeling you want to have as a feminine energy woman is to be with a man that is like obsessed with you and you know adores you and you know wants to make you happy and like wants to change for you not because you're threatening him so even if you have the ability to manipulate someone and to threaten someone you shouldn't want that right and so for me um it never feels good if like i know i have the power that i do that I can get my way um, versus it coming from the person on it on their own, right? And so for me, um, and, and this is kind of what I'm going to talk about in this video, the way that I approach relationships, especially when it comes to men, but anyone is like with this underlying, underlying like basis that people don't change unless they want to change, like point blank, right? Even as a coach, what I've recognized in all my years of coaching one-on-one -on -one and charging lots and lots of money because one-on-one -on -one coaching is extremely draining and I'm the best at what I do, but it's very interesting to me because even when someone is coming to the table and they are putting the money down, they, you know, they, they want certain results in their life, even then people have a hard time sometimes wanting to change right and so it doesn't matter even if you hire someone you have to want the person has to want to change right it's really difficult to change our programming and our way of being and you know even when we sort of um like without the desire to want it and like the desire like the deep down desire to want to change the person is not going to change, right? And so the number one thing is that you have to make sure that the person that you want to influence or that you want to change or you want to that, you know, you want the person to value you and to respect you. The number one thing is that you got to make sure that they have a lot of drive and desire to be with you. Because if a man does not have a lot of drive and desire to be with you, he's not going to do what he has to do to make adjustments within himself. And again, and I want you to think about this, right? I focus so much on inner work. Think about how difficult it is. And those even clients that have worked with me, think about how difficult it is when I'm even handing you the recipe to change, how difficult it is to change, right? Even, even when, especially those of you that take um, the personal responsibility to book calls with me and go deeper into the work and actually do what I say in the inner work for us, not just passively watch it. Think about how difficult it is for you to do that, knowing it's going to get you results. It is going to get you results because these are this is everything I've done to change my life, right? You can't do it. It's so difficult. So the, the result of what you want is probably not, the, the result of what you want is probably not that high on your list because if it was so high on your list, you would do whatever it took, right? You would do whatever it took. Uh, to get that result. So with a man now, in order to get him to change for you, he has to have a high drive to satisfy you and to please you, right? And that's just the truth, right? If he does not have a high drive to satisfy you and please you, you're not going to be able to change him because a man doesn't want to change. A man wants to keep things as like, like the same and comfortable and easy as possible. This is men, okay? This is why I always say, be very aware of what you get yourself into when it go comes to marriage, right? Like, you have to be very careful because when a man doesn't have like a high drive to please you, then when you move into a situation where you're married, you have less power as a woman in a way because a man knows you're not going to leave, right? Um, unless you're the type of woman that would leave, right? Like I'm the type of woman that like I would leave, right? Um, and I would always create space. So I'm always able to influence whoever I want because I'm not attached to anything. So knowing that, so how do we do this? So the number one thing is you got to make sure that the guy has like a high drive for you. A guy does not have a high drive for you. It doesn't matter what you do because he, he doesn't care. Like he doesn't feel enough attraction to want to do things for you, right? And so 
everything that you do and anything I mentioned in the video is not going to work because he doesn't have a high drive for you. And so when I'm talking about a high drive, what that means is like a high level of desire and attraction for you. When a man has a lot of attraction for a woman, he's going to pretty much do anything he can to like be with this woman and to satisfy this woman, right? And the attraction for a man is not just the beauty, but the way a woman carries herself, her energy. That's what I always talk about. Energy, energy is so important. Um, and this is why it's so important to be surrounded by women and follow women that it's not about the content and everything being structured and all that crap. It's about their energy, their vibe, right? Because the energy and the vibe that you're attracted to, or maybe even triggered by, right? Because sometimes women will be triggered. Um, and that's because you're just denouncing a part of yourself. But that is a part of yourself that you want to activate. So if you just focus on heady, stupid content, and um, a person's energy is like flat and like not feminine, um, you're not going to be able to influence a high value, let's just say masculine man, right? Because again, the other types of men, it's easy to influence because they don't have a backbone and they'll do whatever you say, right? The type of men that, you know, we general, generally want are the men that can be a little bit more disagreeable, right? Can be a little bit more stubborn, have a little bit of an edge, right? Um, that's attractive, right? We don't necessarily want a yes man, um, but we also want a man that is able to sort of like kneel down for the woman, right? As we would kneel down for a man, we also want a man that's going to kneel down for us, right? It's a partnership. And oftentimes, the men that we are attracted to aren't going to necessarily do that without a lot of attraction, right? Um, because they're not pansies, right? And so there has to be like a, a lot of pull there. So the attraction is like, number one, without the attraction, a man is not going to like influence be influenced to change, right? Um, and so, like, how do we get into uh, getting a man to sort of like change for us, or how do we create this level of attraction? Well, the level of attraction comes from your own inner work. And I'm like a parrot that talks about says this all the time. Well, the reason I say this is because you are the center of your reality, right? You are the center of your reality. It's you and then your reality, right? And so the victim, right? If you're a victim, you're going to get mad at what I'm saying and you're going to always put everything on the guy. You can do that, but then you're disempowering yourself because you're not realizing how much power you have. You're not realizing that you are the center of your universe. And so if everything that is like revolving around you is not what you want. Well, yes, that sucks, right? But what's empowering in that is that you can change it, right? But if you blame the circumstances and you're always looking to the outside to manage your own state, well, you're never going to live the life that you want, right? Because the whole point of this existence is to become whole, right? And when the more whole we are, the more that's reflected back. It's an inside-out thing. It's not a outside-inside thing, right? You can't have the outside um, affect your mood all the time because people are always gonna there's there's always gonna be people that dislike you that are triggered by you that are mad that are doing things their way so if you let everyone influence you you're just never gonna be happy so this is why I always focus on ourselves right so the inner work is really important because without the inner work you're not going to be able to draw attraction to a guy why because you're not going to be in your feminine because to be in your feminine is to be a woman that is very authentic you know, very comfortable with who she is and is therefore able to be vulnerable, right? She's open, right? That's what femininity is. It's openness. And without the inner work, we're not going to feel comfortable being open because we're going to be in this space of survival all the time. And we're going to be afraid of like rejection or getting hurt and all that, which is completely normal, right? I had a woman say to me, well, I don't know how to be open on dates with people that I've not I've not met. And in, when it comes to feminine energy, and again, this like builds, it's a practice, right? It's not like you're just going to become open. Like there's inner work and then it builds. Um, when you are a feminine woman, you're just open, right? Even if you don't know the person, you're open, right? And when I say open, that just means that you're able to be your bubbly light self, right? You're not in your head thinking about what someone else thinks about you you are yourself 
the openness starts to wane when we're sometimes in a relationship or we've been sort of um let down by someone over and over and over again and even in that situation it's not about the other person it's about us because we didn't have personal boundaries to you know take things slow or to assess certain situations and you know the same behavior kept continuing but it, again we can only control ourselves so if that's happening then that's an inside thing because if we're noticing something in someone and it's a pattern and it's not changing then there's also something going on within us that is allowing that right you know we're afraid as well in some way so we always want to look within ourselves now when you become feminine and you are operating from this way you're going to be open you're going to be light you're going to be happy you're going to create a lot of um, attraction in the relationship right secrets secrets of the feminine woman my inner workhorse like they're all good resources to help you um sort of do a little bit of the inner work and they're they're different in in what i speak about when you're able to do that and you have a lot of attraction and pull, what you want to do at that point, if you want to change a guy and if if you're noticing something that you don't like, what you want to do, and this video is getting super long already, is that when something happens, and again, every situation is different. So if you need help in your own situation, you can send an email question in or book a call. Um, email questions are like faster. Um, because my calendar is pretty booked right now, but whatever, you can always reach out to me for a specific situation. But what you want to do when something isn't going the well, the way you like, or your person isn't valuing you is, so first of all, let me just tell you what doesn't work. Okay. Complaining, bitching, nagging, telling a man what to do, telling a man how he is, sulking, whining, um, all of those things don't work. Um, crying, creating, you know, losing emotional control, literally none of that works. Okay. And I'm a woman, I've done these things, right? Like, let's just be real. We all have, they don't work. Right. And oftentimes we're doing this because we're trying to get some sort of change in someone. And also because we're in fear, right? We're in fear. We're not getting our needs met. And that person's behavior is triggering us normal, right? But if you, if a man is in the wrong, let's just say he's in the wrong, right? And we like lash out or we're upset or we get whiny. Um, as a woman that's more in her feminine, what normally you'll do is you'll communicate your feelings, but your feelings, like it, it might be in the way that you're con communicating your feelings to him might not land with him, right? So you have to be aware of the way you're communicating your feelings, right? Um, it doesn't work. Because what happens with a man is he becomes defensive, he shuts down, he doesn't listen to you, blah, blah, blah. It just doesn't work, right? And so what you want to do in these situations is you want to evaluate, well, have I done certain behaviors in the past? Have they worked? Probably not. So at that point, and this is where the inner work comes in, because you can't be attached to anyone. If you are attached to anything or to anyone, then your influence is gone, right? And the reason for that is because you want it too much. So don't be fixated on marriage. Don't be fixated on one guy. Don't be fixated on a client or this or that. Don't be fixated on anyone external to you to bring you happiness. Focus on your own self. This is what I teach you guys. Focus on your own self, right? When you focus on your own self, the external environment is not going to always go the way that you want it to go because that's just life, right? you won't be rattled right because when you get rattled your power is gone that's it your power is gone so the best thing to do with men is to first of all not be so attached right easier said than done the more inner work you do the more the more desirable you're going to become as a woman and the more you're going to realize how like freaking amazing you are how attractive you are and when you get your shit together as a woman and you, your value as a woman, right, goes up and up and up and up, right? And hopefully, you want to be, you want to be putting yourself on the pedestal. Don't put a guy on a pedestal. Put yourself on a pedestal. When you feel a certain way about yourself, you are not going to put all of your eggs in one basket, even if you're married, right? That means that you're always going to have this thing within you that's that you know you're a good woman and you know that you treat your partner well. So this is where the inner work comes in. 
you know that you don't get triggered, you're happy, you know, you have your shit together. And because again, everything starts with us, right? And if he's being a jerk or or whatever, you know that, well, I'm not going to let myself get sucked into his stuff, right? And so what you're going to do, and this is, this is what I talk about on my channel. I talk about absence, right? I talk about distance. I talk about creating space, right? You're going to take space. That's it. When you pull away from a man and you say less, not more, doesn't work to say more, okay? When you say less, when you pull away from a man, what happens is he starts to think about what he did wrong. Why is she upset? Um, what could I have done differently? How do I please her? And if you're a woman that feels good to be around, this is where the inner work comes in. He's going to want your energy again. He's going to want your attention again, right? Think about even creators that sometimes aren't on YouTube all the time or, you know, they disappear for a bit. You miss their energy. You miss their vibe, right? So this is exactly how a man feels. A man feels, oh, I miss her. Like, where is she? I want to like speak to her again. Shit, what did I do? And when you create that space, why that's good for you is because you're probably upset, right? You're probably upset. And so you also need time to recalibrate and to get yourself together and to also think about like whether you're happy with the way he's being, right? It's not about him. It's about you. Are you happy with this behavior? Have you communicated this to him before? Is he still being a jerk? Is he still doing the same thing? Do you want to be around him? Like, what do you want? Right? It's about you. The feminine energy is about her. It's not about the other person. So when I say this and I talk about like being selfish and thinking about you, that is not, I'm not saying you're not showing up amazing in the relationship. You got to show up amazing in the relationship or none of this will work. Because even if you pull away, a guy's going to say, see ya, I don't want to be around you anyway. Right? So you got to know how you're showing up and you got to bring value. Right? You got to bring value. Otherwise, you disappearing is not going to make a difference to someone. Right? When you do this, this is how a man starts to think about what he did wrong and how he can please you again. And when you've had a chance to calm down, right? When you've had a chance to calm down, you can communicate vulnerably, matter of factly, without emotion, what you like and what you don't like, right? This, and, and I have to say that with men, sometimes, you know, you know, they can become defensive and all that because the ego will get involved, right? The ego will get involved. But when you create space, because this is what men understand, they understand like consequences, right? When you, when you do that, it also gives them an opportunity to sort of relax and to like think about you and miss you, right? If you don't give them that opportunity and you just nag and bitch and complain, then they're the ones that want to give take space, right? I teach you guys these concepts because, you know, with men, I am usually the, the distancer. And I don't mean the distancer in like a negative way. But I don't necessarily have men pulling away from me, right? And 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 the reason for that is because I am not someone that creates a reason to be pulled away from, right? And as a woman, that's the power you want to have in a relationship. You want to have the power that you are the one that when a man is not acting right, because it should be the man is not acting right, because men are usually way more emotionally like immature than a woman is, right? Like a w women are oftentimes more emotionally evolved than a man because we've learned this. We've learned how to communicate from a child, right? From when we were little. It's not like that necessarily with men. So they're a little bit um, more confused when it comes to relationships and how to be. It's a woman's job to lead like emotionally in a relationship. That's not a man's job. And if you're looking for a man to do that, good luck. Because a masculine man is not going to know how to do that. Like he's influenced by you, right? He learns through you, right? What is acceptable and what isn't acceptable. He learns that through you. He doesn't know. Otherwise, he doesn't know, right? And so when you pull back and you do that, you create space for the man to think about you, worry about you, et cetera. And, you know, create um space for as long as you need to calm down right because i can tell you that if you go to a man in an emotional charged way it's not going to work and what's going to happen is usually he will become upset with your reaction or he'll shut down which will create upset within you right 
And so it's better to calm down, you know, book a call with me, book an email session with me, speak to a girlfriend, et cetera. Don't go to him with your complaints, like, especially when you're upset. Become calm, do your own thing. And then when he reaches out or he's trying to get a hold of you at some point after you've created space, then you can calmly communicate, um, you know, what like didn't work for you or what you didn't like, right? Um, over time, a man will learn, you know, what feels good to you, what doesn't feel good to you. And if his drive is high enough to make you happy because he doesn't want to lose you, and losing you means like he doesn't want to lose your energy, he doesn't want to lose your affection, he doesn't want to lose your adoration, he will eventually on his own change, right? Because you can't get a man like a masculine man. You can't tell him what to do and expect he's going to change. He's not going to do that, right? He's going to have to change and do certain things on his own accord at his own and in, in his own timing, right? Um, just like if someone tells me to change or tells me how to be, um, and you can think about this within yourself as well, we don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear it, right? Even in coaching, sometimes we don't want to hear it and we're paying for it, right? It's just natural that our defenses go up. And so in a relationship, especially with a man, you know, he is not going to want to be told how to be, right? You want to be the best version of yourself and do certain things that I'm saying and then let him um, decide for himself, like if he wants to change, etc. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, please let me know when you've read the books and like what you've learned. I love sharing that because I think it's really helpful when you guys give your own ahas to each other. And I think this is um, so valuable to everyone else. And I want you guys to also start thinking about other people and not yourself. So when you've read the books, you've gone through the course and you've learned something, definitely share it with me, put it on the so socials and I will definitely share it. Um, and if you want your name to be anonymous, and usually I do, like I do keep the name anonymous or I take like the last name out, then uh, let me know in an email. But my job is to help as many of you as I can. And oftentimes, from hearing it from you guys is going to help you like others. It's going to help. It's going to help click, right? Not just me, just like verbatim teaching, right? So that's kind of my intention behind it all. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.